Well, we didn't think we'd have you on uh, quite so quickly again, but you must be delighted after the two goals. Yeah, um, delighted to get on the score sheet again, um, which is a good habit to get into. Striker, uh, once you get a taste for sort of that um, goal scoring, you know, you just want to keep 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 um, getting into the right areas, keep getting on the end of chances, and um, I'd got on the end of a few just near near sort of misses um, before my actual opportunity came about. So. And the way the game was, with them going a goal up, um, it was nice to, to get the equaliser and, and really get us back into the game again. Because Montrose started well, they got a good goal on the break, and, and they're always going to sit in them once they do. So, yeah, delighted to get the goal, and um, yeah, good habit to get into. How important was it to get that first goal, especially before the break, given we were behind? I think it is, it's huge. If we go in 1-0 down, it's a, obviously it's a different game, and and you know they're they're going to get a bit more uh, of a of a lift off that sort of thing. They've got something to hold on to. Um, whereas we came in half time knowing we hadn't played as well as we can yet. We were we were level. Um, frustrated, obviously, with the way we performed. We were all we're all a bit disappointed in there of <clears throat> the manner of the performance. Just not as sharp, let's say, as as we were last week. Um, not as clinical. Uh, but ultimately, we've we've won the game, which is you know the sign of a good team um, and a good habit to get into. If you can if you can win even when you've not played to your best, um, it's it's a it's a good uh, it's a good way to be. If we get an early goal, the expectation is we're off and flying. But to what extent does it send a little message that you know we can go behind and still have that mentality to come back? Yeah, that's a, it. Was a really big test for us. That you know so different from last week. If you go out and you score early, like you say, especially with the fans, the backing that we have here, that real buzz and excitement uh, builds and the opposition probably think, oh, here we go, sort of thing. Um, but it being the opposite today, mentally, it's a really good challenge and test for us. And I'm sure it's going to happen again this season. But if we can get into the habit of um, reacting the right way and, and staying in the game, let's say, knowing that we're going to create chances and, and more often than not, I feel we're going to take them. So... Yeah, met from a mental side, really good, really good to have uh, to have bounced back from a goal down, and and even better to go on and win the game as well. Now you've scored numerous goals throughout <coughs> your career, but that second one today must be one of the more bizarre ones you've scored. Yeah, definitely the strangest one I think I've scored. You know, at times things like that happen where the keeper maybe takes a cross or something like that, and you know that he's going to try and start an attack. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just gamble and you take a bit of a chance and I've just sort of jumped to try and put him off a little bit or, or to stop him from, from from starting an attack out to the fullback. And yeah, very strangely how it's uh, it's just come right off me and nice to just see it nestling into the net. Um, yeah, so it doesn't matter how it goes in, it's it's another goal um, and it's been an important one today. So delighted, delighted to, to have got the winner as well. Because of course it keeps the momentum going. Yeah, um, it is. The the habit of, of winning games is is one that we want to get into um, this season. Um, we want to make this, the, the stadium here a real fortress for us and make it a tough uh, ground for teams to come to. Um, and yeah, just the habit of, of winning matches is, is, is the way we want to be this season. It's, you know, we know we can play an awful lot better than we did, but ultimately three points on the board um, we rest up and we look forward to going again next week. And it must be a nice feeling as well to be top of the league, albeit perhaps temporarily with Forfar having a, a game in hand. It is, yeah. You know, that's the, the end of the table where we want to be. We, we've set ourselves high standards this season as a, as a group, as a team. Um, and yeah, we know we need to, we need to be on it um, every week, every game to have any, have any chance um, of staying there. Um, so... Brilliant, nice to be there and, and uh, yeah, we look forward to the challenge of trying to stay there. And just finally, of course, uh, we're on the road again. Thankfully, it's not nearly as far as Peterhead next week. Yeah. Just the, the short trip to Clyde, your thoughts on that one? It'll be a tough game. I've, I've played against Clyde last season in the uh, in the Cup, the League Cup. Um, you know, they've got some really good players. It'll be a, a tough test for us. And it's, it's one that, you know, after the Peterhead away game, where we started the season off and we didn't play as well, we didn't get the result we want. We've gone and won our home games here. Now it's up to us to go and build upon that and look to uh, perform you know, much better than we did today, but ultimately get the same result and, and, and go and win the game. So 
look forward to it. Uh, look forward to training through the week um, with the with the game in mind. Well, congratulations on the two goals today, and as always, thanks for your time. Thank you.